Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. If you're a Kirk Hammett fan, well, I have some good news for you. If you don't want to drop three grand or thirty-one hundred dollars, or is it thirty-two? Somewhere around thirty-one, thirty-two hundred dollars on a greeny Les Paul standard. And if you don't want to drop twenty thousand dollars on the fancy one, uh, you can get the pickups for three hundred dollars. Now, I know what you're saying. Three hundred dollars for pickups. That seems a little much, and I agree with you. I agree with you. It does seem a little bit much for pickups, but comparing it to the price of the guitar, significantly less expensive if you want to th take these pickups and throw them in something you've been wanting to switch the pickups out on. You know, we switch them back later on, keep the pickups, use them for something else. But uh, Holy Grail Greeny Tone from any Les Paul Gibson just made the Greeny Bucker pickups available as a standalone set for the first time. Previously available only in Kurt Hemet. Hammett's USA Greeny signature model. These 299 humbuckers were made in collaboration with the Metallica Man and in consolation with the actual PAF specs. Uh, are they going to put these in, in an Epiphone? Well, we, we've seen a lot of uh, Slash signatures and other signature guitars go from Gibson to Epiphone, so it would not surprise me if eventually we get an Epiphone Greeny. It, it, I mean, probably right around $1,000. But um, that, that is an option, too, is we might be getting an Epiphone version of it. So last October, Gibson announced the opening of its flagship pickup store, whose opening lineup included a host of historic, original, and modern collection units. Now Gibson has further expanded its pickup shop, offering with an all-new artist collection, a collection that has been uh, debated in a rather notable fashion. For its first artist collection set, Gibson has made the Greeny Buckers the same pickups found on the Kurt uh, recently released Greeny Signature Guitar, available as a standard set of humbuckers for the first time. The pickups themselves have st ha are steeped in history, having accommodated the playing of Peter Green, Gary Moore, and now Metallica, all of whom have utilized the guitar's mythical out-of-phase middle position tone and the upside-down polarity reverse neck pickup. Gibson says these exact tones can be harnessed with the new Greeny Buckers, which were created in line with the Greeny's original humbuckers. These, in turn, were 1950 PAFs. Uh, as such, the original schematics were also consulted in developing of the set. So this means, yes, the neck pickup features a reverse magnet polarity with the set also offering asymmetrical coil windings and unpolished Alnico 2 magnets for a faithful Green, Moore, and Hammett tone. Hammett himself, who now has a few Greeny signature models, so his name was also involved in the creation of the pickups, which were previously only available as part of the 3K USA Greeny Les Paul model. This new set, therefore, marks a far more affordable option for those wanting to tap into Greeny's tones without splashing out for an entirely new guitar. In fact, these might be the most cost-effective way of exploring such tones, weighing in at $300. Yes, they are. If you want these pickups, if you want this tone, cheapest way to get them right here. In hindsight, a standalone Greeny pickup set from Gibson seems long overdue. Multiple pickup companies have all had a stab at replicating the guitarist tone. Uh, Monty's Bethnal's Green, Seymour Duncan's Green Magic, and Bare Knuckles' PG Blue set immediately spring to mind. I didn't even know. Did, did not even know that. But the Green Buckers are Gibson's first attempt at meeting this demand. Gibson PAF's uh, pickups from 1950 are considered by many musicians to be the holy grail of vintage electric guitar pickups. Yes, they are, because I think a pickup, uh, an original PAF, I think sells for like five grand or something ridiculous. Gets in around its website, along with them, the unique set that was installed in the legendary Green Les Paul are some of the most famous. I'll never give us them to find out more, and we will. So, here's the set. I don't believe they are selling these individually. I believe you have to buy them as a set. So, you know, 150 bucks a pickup. Um, my only, only kind of complaint is these are not potted. It says unpotted. So basically that means when they're potted, that means you take the pickup, drop it in a bunch of wax, and it helps with feedback. But, um, that's not how they did it back in the day. Uh, so you may get more feedback out of these. But I, you could theoretically pot them yourself, but at the same time, it's not going to sound the same if you do so. So keep that in mind. So... We have the Rhythm Travel set of two, the only call two, uh, two conductor wire, so you are not able to split these. So if you are interested in, hey, you would be even cooler if I could take the greeny pickups and coil split them, coil tap them, you know, whatever, face switch them, not going to ha happen, not, not with these. So unpotted, double black bobbin, so that means if you take the pickup covers off, they're going to be solid black pickups, no cream, no white. 
Uh, so the average DC resistance for the rhythm, that's your neck pickup, is 8.3. And for the treble, which is your bridge pickup, is 8.7. Yeah, standard, standard range there. It's featured on the Gibson USA Kurt Hammett Greeny. Developed with Kurt Hammett guidance with specs taken from the actual PAFs of the Greeny Les Paul. The rhythm pickup features reverse magnetic polarity for the signature Greeny sound. Now, obviously, they're going to have a premium on them a little bit. But uh, it's not really too much of a premium. So, you know, Gibson pickups, I think, let's see here if I do shop new arrivals. I think individually they're going for like 120 130 depending on what you're looking at. Yeah, Kramer Eruption, that's some, just some random stuff they're throwing on there. Custom Bucker, uh, ouch, holy crap, double black nickel 2 conductor, unpotted 7.3 nickel 3. Maybe I was wrong. Some of, some of these bad, some of these bad boys are a little bit more expensive. A Dirty Fingers is, is 129. Uh, some of these are a little bit more expensive. 57 Classic. Um, got some soap bar P90s, stuff like that. But um, yeah, no, I mean compared to the other pickups in the sets, based on that price, just scrolling down, they they see these seem to be fair value. Um, you know, less expensive than the custom bucker. I mean, honestly, the neck, the, the bridge pickup probably just is a custom bucker. And then the neck pickup is going to be, you know, you, you got the uh, magnet and the reverse polarity and all that crazy jazz going on. So it might be worth it for this just to get what is essentially a custom bucker um, in the bridge position. I know it's not technically a custom bucker, but uh, it's probably really, really close. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these pickups. I think this is a cool way to get it in a cheaper guitar. You know, maybe you have an old Epiphone lying around, you want to get rid of the pickups in it, these might be a good replacement uh, if that's the sound you're after. Um, not really any major complaints. I, I understand there's going to be a little bit of a premium on them. Uh, all I can say is if you're interested in actually getting an Epiphone version of Greeny, maybe hold off on buying these. You know, if you're if you're like, okay, you know, 300 bucks, that's fine. I don't want to spend $1,000 on an Epiphone guitar. By all means, you know, pay for these. But uh, other than that, I would hold off and wait for the actual Epiphone version to come up because I'm almost guaranteeing that there will be one in the future. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. And as always, have a good one.